Okay, so in part one of this video, I talked about the incoming army of toxic underage six-year-olds who are going to be getting a VR headset for Christmas and are going to be raiding the game. And in this video, I'm just going to be adding a bit more onto that. The first thing is that on Christmas, there won't be instantly a bunch of toxic six-year-olds, but instead, most people will begin as a newbie. A newbie can be identified as being mute, accidentally having their mic on and thus having a bunch of background noise and people talking in the background, and constantly hitting the gritty all the time because they don't know how to properly move. These newbies, depending on who they watch, will either become a toxic player or a sane player. For example, if they watch J-Man Curly, they'll probably become a minigames kid which we don't want. However, if they watch someone more sane, like Get Hit, then maybe they won't be a toxic kid. I'll expand on that in a moment, but first I want to talk about how to avoid toxic kids entirely, as even if most players or pre-toxic kids are newbies, then there will be some kids who are toxic from the get-go because they play Fortnite or something. So I'm just going to explain how to avoid them entirely. First we have the forest. Now the forest is a definitely no-go because there's, first of all, it's uh, the main map of the game. So all the toxic kids and newbies are going to be here and you're literally directed to go to the forest when you start the game. So stay away from forest on Christmas. Next we have the canyons, which is probably the safest map out of them all as to move around the terrain in canyons you have to jump about and to jump about you need long arms which six year old kids do not have so as long as you're mature you can easily move around canyons and evade any toxic kids so canyons is my recommendation then there are mines and mountains which all the rejects of society go to so it's pretty unpredictable in Minds and Mountains you get weird people, you get people who are too, think they're too good at the game, and you get toxic kids who have been out-toxicated by other kids. However, in the first week of them getting the headset, I don't think they'll bully each other, so I think Minds and Mountains are pretty clean, but it's still risky 50-50. Then there's City, which unless you're in a private server, in which case City is hell and where all the bad things happen, City in public lobby, lobbies is overall pretty chill and you should be safe there. Going back to what I said earlier about the newbies either becoming really nice or really bad, we can easily help or shift that by doing two things. The first of them is finding all the nice newbies and, you know, befriending them, helping them, stuff that I said in the previous video, so we can sort the good from the bad. As for the bad kids, we can't exactly change their ways, we can't argue with them, they're kids, they won't understand. But what we can do is try and make their favourite game or their main game something else. And there are four games which all the toxic kids go to. The first is Gorilla Tag. Now, Gorilla Tag is Gorilla Tag. That's what we've been talking about the entire time. The second is VRChat, which already has its own problem of toxic kids, no no square kids. And the community is so far separate from other VR as a whole, it's just we can't include it. Forget VRChat. The third is Echo Arena, which skill ceiling is too high for kids, and there isn't funny monkey colours, so I doubt they'll go to there. However, the fourth game, Rec Room, is something that we can convince the toxic kids to go to. So here's my plan. This is Operation Rec Room, and the goal of it is to make all the toxic kids move over to Rec Room and get the fuck out. Now, it's pretty easy to do from just making videos on Rec Room, and if you do make a video on Rec Room with the intent of moving toxic kids to Rec Room, then you know, uh, mention me, at me in the description, that would be nice. Or telling a new toxic YouTuber to go play Rec Room, stuff like that will help contribute. Con 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 I can't say contribute, I just say contribute. Contribute to the solving the problem. Yeah, I just fucked up at the end there, but you get the idea. Once we've solved the toxic kid problem, we can just, you know, relax until next year, in which we do it all over again. And once we do it all over again, the nice VR community will get grow, and all the toxic kids will get out, and VR can have a better reputation as a whole, and hopefully one day, VR's reputation won't be Facebook, dumb, NFT, scam, and will actually be seen as something good that it is. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'm going to get back to child porn as usual.